So let's go over acupuncture point bladder 25. I'm gonna get you to take a look at the lumbar spine here in this model. So lumbar spine, sacrum, L5, L4. If we go to the bottom of the spinous process of L4, just over from this is where bladder 25 is located. So let's find this point on Mickey. So this little mark we put here is L4, L2 here, Mickey gets so happy with me when I start putting marks on her back. Seems to me we did uh, one particular filming session one time and I, I convinced her that we were not using permanent markers. <laughs> and then I read the label and I thought, oh, okay, well, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, L4. Now we're gonna go over 1.5 chun, the measurement in Chinese medicine, lateral to the lower border of the spinous process. So, a chun in general is the width of the thumb, 1.5 would be two fingers here, and we'd actually use Mickey's fingers, but it's kind of hard doing that when you're face down. So I'll just come in a little bit from that point, about right here, and then we're gonna stimulate that area right here. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Is that tender? A little bit, yeah. Are you more tender on the left or the right side? The right side. Quite a bit? Yeah. Okay. I could stimulate both sides here. Let's just focus on that right side there. It's a little bit sore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this point is commonly used with lower back pain and stiffness, general stiffness in the lumbar region. In traditional Chinese medicine, bladder 25 is known as a what they call a back shoe point of the large intestine. And it's frequently used to regulate uh, digestive function actually. So even though our focus is on musculoskeletal conditions, I'd like you to know a little bit about it. And so in traditional Chinese medicine, they'd use this to treat all sorts of things such as abdominal pain and constipation, but that's not our focus. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'd also like to mention while we're here, just in this area that there is caution that should be used if we're using acupuncture points in this area. And this should be avoided in pregnant women, especially during the later stages of pregnancy, as it basically can, uh, stimulating this area can potentially induce labor. Okay, so this should be avoided during pregnancy. Let's just get in there a bit. And again, this is bladder 25, which we would stimulate if we're just doing pressure somewhere between 30 seconds and three minutes. So, all right, is that letting off a little bit there? Yeah, it is. Okay, so actually your paraspinal muscles don't feel as tight as they were. Yeah. <laughs> Good, excellent. Very powerful point.